my guys hello i am obviously not filming on my camera well i'm filming on my gopro so it is a camera but i'm feeling really slumpy lately like i haven't really been able to bring myself to film anything and today's been the first day that i somewhat wanted to vlog and i wanted to like organize the bookshelves obviously I have my camera literally right here but i don't know sometimes i like the vibe of a gopro like, it feels like a lot more laid back sometimes if that makes sense it's kind of like when i watch iphone vlogs like sometimes I just want to get rid of my camera and vlog on my iPhone because it just feels like a lot more intimate and personal. And this just kind of feels like, I don't know, like a home movie or something. I've been sitting here for the last like half hour trying to figure out how I want to organize the books. It's not that they're not organized right now. I just feel like I kind of not rushed it the first time but like i i mean i feel like you obviously have to like try things out before you commit and i feel like the same goes with like organizing your bookshelves or your bookcase i had to kind of like live with it for a bit and see what i thought about it and there's a few things i think i want to change all of these books up here are somewhat literary fiction but they're not really organized and as i'm trying to get into more literary fiction books this year they just need to be you know a bit more organized there's like fiction literary fiction non-fiction like it's just kind of a mishmash so i want to organize that i also i don't really know i've like i said i've been like literally just staring at the bookshelves for like 30 minutes trying to figure out what i want to do i kind of want to do the thing where you flip your red books so that you can only see the spines of the books that you have to read but i think that would overwhelm me because i have mostly books on my shelf that are unread <laughs> so i might try that for my standalones because I just, I like the look of a series, like seeing the whole series, even if I've read the books. But I feel like for standalones, that could be really helpful to do. But I was thinking of putting some of my series up here, like our more collector series. But then I also want to get floating shelves for in here to put them on. So things like Game of Thrones, Harry Potter, Percy Jackson. I was kind of thinking of giving like their own little shelf because we have like Funko Pops for them and stuff. So I might try that out. And then... Right now, all of my series are together, even like romance, but I was thinking I want to just switch that up. Like my romance uh, series, but I don't know where else I would put them. Maybe like all together at the beginning. I also think I want to flip for the smaller shelves. So this side is obviously like farthest in the room and I kind of want to put all of our like nonfiction here, memoirs, and then also our literary fiction. Cause like obviously I'll reach for literary fiction, but I feel like all of these books like I never pick up because they're the furthest away so I kind of want to flip these two shelves and also like our memoirs aren't really organized. I think I'm gonna have to take all the books off for these guys but the middle ones like the series I don't think I'm gonna have to take everything out. I think I just need to take all the standalones out because I'm gonna swap those around. I think I'm just gonna honestly start because I feel like once you start taking books off and putting them in new places, you kind of get inspired. I'm also gonna grab my headphones and probably listen to an audiobook. And I also at the same time kind of want to do another declutter of our books. The whole point of having the home library, I say this now, but we're probably gonna have to build a bookshelf in like another year, is that these are the only books that we own. So like if I don't have enough space for books, I have to get rid of books to bring new books in. So that's the goal but honestly probably in like a few years we're gonna have so many books we don't know what to do with them but for now that's kind of the goal so if i don't have enough space in here it means i need to get rid of books so i also just kind of want to like go through and get rid of some books that like i maybe haven't even read in the last few years or that i have on my kindle but yeah cheers let's let's jump into it this is my book basket and so once it's full i'll usually film like a book haul or like book shopping video I'll put these books away on the shelf they've been just like sitting here too long somewhat like new shelf like where i put newer books um like books that i've thrifted and then this is the library shelf and i think i want to take the library books out of here and put them somewhere else and then i recently got all of like my childhood books from my parents so i want to have a shelf for these as well so I gotta figure out where to put those, but I feel like since this is the closest like bookshelf when you walk in, that these should be the books like on my TBR. And then the books over here can obviously be like, you know, not like we don't read the memoirs and stuff, but like ones that we've read or we, you know, don't reach for as often because I feel like I don't even come over here and look at these books because of how like far they are from the other side of the room. <music>
took everything down that was like a standalone and I think my plan of attack is to just organize them a little bit better so for example these two stacks are like fall books but they're a mix of like romance cozy fantasy horror so I feel like instead of having like a section for like fall spooky season books I'm going to organize them into their genre just because they took up two of these shelves my plan for all of this is like I said I want this to be series but there's some like thriller series and stuff in here so I kind of want to take all of those out see where the fantasy kind of stands I also want to make a section for cozy fantasy like a subgenre section of standalones i feel like i could definitely do like fantasy standalones and then cozy fantasy standalones and then things like this george R. R. martin books harry potter and percy jackson i kind of want to give them their own mini shelf because those kind of sections and like our tolkien books we have like pops and funkos for so i feel like that makes the most sense like they get their own little cubby if i can fit them here i think i would try and put my romance series here because it kind of bothers me that they're in with like the fantasy series and like my thriller series so i think i'm gonna try and do that let's get all the non-fiction out of the way and kind of group those together because i kind of just like threw them in the shelves but i want to put like all of our books on like grief together all of our books on self-help finance all that kind of stuff together and then I'm also going to do a shelf for like memoir type books. So like Crying in H Mart. Uh, what did I just pick up recently from the ashes? Stuff like that. Yeah, let's do that. I'm a very visual person so for me when I'm organizing books especially into like these cubby shelves the easiest way for me to do it is to sort the books into a cubby and then I will put them in the shelves and then after everything is done I will alpha I can never say that alphabetize them put them in alphabetical order so that's kind of what I did so we still have memoirs up there and space books these are memoirs that I pulled off that I want to read so I need to put them in a bit more of like a visible spot this is like grief and healthcare. Since there's only six books, I'll have to probably, maybe I'll combine it with finance actually. Put these up here. Um, here we just kind of have miscellaneous self-help. And then this is classics and literary fiction. So I think I'm gonna split that over two shelves. So I have one more shelf, which is good. And I'm trying to think of what I wanna put in there. I'm thinking maybe maybe my childhood books honestly i have a ton of them but luckily they're all like pretty small like magic tree house and stuff so i have more too at my parents house that i have to go get but for now these are the ones that i grabbed um we have like all of my click books i just like wanted to have these honestly i kind of want to do like a video where i reread them judy moody the doll people what else do i have i think i have like tales of despero yeah in here like the witches and all that stuff. So I think I'm gonna actually put that over there as well. So after I've given the books like a cubby, then I will actually like put them in their shelf. But like I said, I won't put them in alphabetical order yet. I just wanna make sure that they all fit and I don't have to do any rearranging. So uh, yeah, I think maybe I'll keep this one free for like my childhood books, honestly. And I mean, actually if that one's empty, I guess that's also okay too. But who knows, we may end up needing this for something else after. So let's just start, I guess, organizing.
I'm actually really happy with how it turned out. Like I said, they're not organized like by last name or anything yet, but we've got here, actually, you know what? I'm just gonna stick these here because I have no other spot for them. It's fine, it's not a big deal. It worked out, as you can tell, it's always just like a little bit of trial and error. And I actually like when your bookshelves are like mismatching in the sense of like some books are vertical and some are horizontal. I just kind of like the look of it. It feels a little bit more lived in in my opinion, but I'm sure not everyone's gonna like that and that's okay. Also, can we talk about how perfectly all of my kids or like my children books fit on here? Like I said, I have more at my parents house, so I have a feeling it's gonna take up these two, but that's okay because this just feels, I don't know, it's doing something to heal my inner child and I'm loving it. I really wanna do a video where I reread my childhood favorite, so let me know if you guys wanna see that. It worked out pretty much exactly like I planned. So we've got like grief, grief health and finance and then just some random books and then these are like memoirs and then i put the ones that i really want to read right here so i can see them we've got literary fiction or like what i would consider literary fiction slash books that just like don't really have another genre to go with we've got classics over here and then we've got percy jackson and tolkien books with a little bilbo and then we've got my george rr R. martin books Right here, I have room for another one, which is kind of nice. And then we've got, like I said, my childhood, like classic books. So really happy with that. And it's not that these books like don't deserve to be read or anything. It's just that they're the ones we're gonna reach for a little bit less. Like I feel like you have to be in a really specific mood to wanna read like literary fiction or nonfiction book. So I'd rather have them on this side here and some of our favorite books and then have this side be kind of like those books that are like higher up on my TBR slash like romance, thriller, etc. So anyways, that is the plan. And now I'm just trying to decide. I had taken my Harry Potter books out, um, but I'm gonna put them back here just because I have so many different like collector's editions of them that they'll pretty much take up a whole shelf, which I don't mind. And I'm just trying to decide if I want to keep the series on the longer shelves, but just have like a whole row of them or kind of like what I want to do. I think I'm gonna do the same technique I did over there, just kind of play around with some different like formats and stuff. And yeah so i think the first thing i should do is take off all of my series that aren't fantasy that way i can kind of maybe stick them in their own little shelf here's so like romance and probably like i mean the only thriller series i really have is the natural series uh everything else is pretty much romance so yeah i also feel like at some point my cassandra claire books are going to take up a whole shelf i literally just need the first book in the last hour series and then I maybe I'm missing another little mini series I have sword catcher now um I'm only I haven't decided if I want to keep this it's like I got this at the thrift store for like a dollar and it's apparently a collector's first edition uh so I'll probably keep it honestly but I do want to get the matching paperback to fit I love the look of all these also still need to get number three in the mortal instruments and then I obviously have book two of the infernal devices not here because I'm currently reading it so I'm assuming at some point this will just take up the entire shelf which I'm not mad about so I'll probably have to I honestly kind of might just take these out now because I know that like I'll probably get them in the next little bit um so this is honestly helping me get out of my slump it feels really good to like organize
Okay, you guys, we're making really good progress. It's about lunchtime now. I think I only started this at like 11, so it hasn't been too long. Last time I did it because I took everything out, it took me almost four hours to organize everything. But I feel like today's going a bit quicker because I kind of knew what I wanted to do. So all we have left to do are the standalones on this side. I'm still trying to figure out what I want to do with my library books. If you guys take out books from the library often, like let me know, do you guys put them in a separate spot? I had them in the bookshelf, but I just feel like I wasn't reaching for them because they just look like normal books. So I was thinking of maybe getting um, those like floating bookshelves you see in like nurseries. I think they're kind of cute. Uh, I can put a picture here of what they look like. I was thinking of getting those to put somewhere where I would put them. But I thought it'd be a good idea to have them like in a separate spot, like maybe in a basket or something. That's what we did growing up. We'd have them in a basket. So I need to find a home for those. I also have a small pile of books I'm getting rid of, which, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't like sharing on hauls. I don't know why, because I feel like I already am pretty ruthless with my book reviews, like in the sense that I'm just like brutally honest. Like I'll never say I liked a book that I didn't just like because I do social media, you know what I mean? Like, so I don't really share on hauls just cause, I don't know, just it's either books that I've read that are under three stars or books that I just have had on my shelf for a really long time and I'm not gonna read. I feel like in the last year or so, I've started to get really picky. And like when you're buying books secondhand, I feel like it's really easy to buy books because they're just like a really good price. And I've gotten out of that habit because reading content I wanna read and not reading content that like, is really popular just because I don't really want to miss out on it if that makes sense. So I feel like not that my taste is changing but I'm being more particular with the books that I'm bringing into the house and so anyways I guess we'll just finish this off. We're pretty much almost done uh, which is nice and I'll give you guys like a tour. I have left some spaces empty for like books that I'm missing like so for example here I'm only missing the fourth book in the Faithful and the Fallen series and I know it's going to go here so I've like left a little space for it. Uh, same with like the Cassandra Clare shelf. I have a little space left for the two books that I'm missing. And uh, yeah, but I think all the standalones are going to fit here. I don't know. We'll see. I'm trying to decide. So I have a little too much horror to fit in one cubby. So I think I'm going to mix thriller and horror, honestly, just because I have about three cubbies for thriller and one in a little bit for horror. So I thought maybe four cubbies for both of them and I can mix them. So I think that might work. And I obviously have said this before, but I have some Stephen King books that aren't really horror, like 11, 20, 63, that I just kind of put in there because it's Stephen King. Let's try and organize these and see if everything fits. And if not, I guess, um, I don't know, we'll see. And then I'll give you guys a tour at the end to kind of like wrap it up. <laughs> who is ready for the final tour start over here these books are not in alphabetical order i just like didn't get to it and i'll probably come back and put them in alphabetical order sometime this week um but honestly it doesn't really bother me that they're not i'm yeah so i might i might not who knows but pretty much memoirs here and jurassic park because i didn't know where else to put it space books these are pretty much just like all self-help books slash memoirs that I want to read. So I kind of wanted to bring them down from the top shelf to remember to read them. Here we've got literary fiction. And like I said earlier, just books that like don't really have another genre to go to in our house. Then we have classics over here and also Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes because it's a classic in my mind. I'm just kidding. Uh, no, but I have the other Hunger Games books at my parents' house. So I just need to go get those. And for now, I figure this could stay here. Here is what I call like Matt's shelf. So he has his Percy Jackson and his Tolkien books. And then I also just put our Game of Thrones original cover here because it didn't fit on the other shelf. And we've got our, I think this is Bilbo Baggins. And then we've got my Game of Thrones shelf here. 
which I actually have decided I think I'm going to sell my paperbacks or donate them and try and do hardcovers for all of the books just because I find with like thicker fantasy books like this that I like to annotate is a lot easier to do with hardcover. So that is my current thrifting mission um, and luckily I only need the first three or the, these three left. Then we have once again the childhood books there and then we have our like bins here which have like just like Lego sets we need to build, um, switch accessories, etc. And then we've got in this first like bookshelf, like on the bigger side, I guess, um, we have pretty much like all fantasy series. So like I said, they're not in alphabetical order at all, uh, which I mean, I kind of can recognize the series names. So I don't really know if I need to put them in alphabetical order, but I probably will one day. And I left room here for the fourth book in The Faithful and the Fallen that I'm searching for at the thrift store. So I have a little bit of space there for when I get it and I can kind of, you know, move those over. Some books that like I know I'm going to have the series for, I just don't have them yet, I have here. So for example, like I only have the novella for the Crowns of Nyaxia or however you say that series, but I know that I'm going to get the other two books when they come out in paperback. So I have it in the series section anyways. Same thing if like I have a series from an author, but then I only have a standalone for another series. Um, I'll put it in there like Daughter of Smoke and Bone. And then we've got the whole Cassandra Clare shelf. I have my Caraval books here as like just a bit of a placeholder until I finish this series. And what else do we have? Yeah, some more series down here. Same with Brandon Sanderson, right? Like these are the first three books in the original Mistborn trilogy, but then I also have his Secret Project series. And then we have The Way of Kings. Same with V.E. Schwab. Like some of these books are obviously part of different series or standalones, but to me it was kind of like deserving to be in the same spot and yeah we've got some Carrie Maniscalco books over here um and ironically I have the original covers of the Akatar series which like it wasn't a bad series like I gave it three stars it wasn't like it was awful it just wasn't my all-time favorite but I don't want to get rid of these because they're obviously probably worth like a decent amount also this is gonna like really irk me that these are not in order so I need to like shift these around really fast I don't know why I did not notice that I'm pretty sure these are probably also not in order either wow I'm clearly a bit of a hot mess like this goes here Okay, there we go. Um, so I'm not sure if I'm ever going to get rid of these, honestly. Who knows? Maybe I'll do a reread one day and see if I enjoy it more. But have that. And then I just kind of have some more YA books that I thought just kind of like fit with this. I don't know. I just know where else to put them. Then we've got my beloved Harry Potter shelf. Where did Hermione go? she fall? Oh, yeah. She's back there. She fell. She can't like stand on her own. I don't like those Funkos that like they can't stand up on their own. So yeah, I don't love that. But anyways, I've got my, um, these are, I guess the newer covers. I'm just missing book two. I've been thrifting these. I have all the originals in hardcover as well upstairs. And then obviously have started collecting the Mimi Lima books. I'm just missing book two. We've got the Fantastic Beasts and like JK Rowling's other, I don't know, novellas. It comes in that trilogy. It comes in like a box set. I never know what it's called, but it came in, like a little bit of a box set so I have those and then I have the first three books in the different houses I didn't like collect them per house I wanted like some from each house so I have those I have a or er, I don't know if this is like an original cover of the first book or like just an older edition of it and then just some random um series slash duologies over here then down here I have all of my romance slash I also have the natural series over here just once again as a placeholder because I'm sure I'll have another romance series here especially since I'm still waiting for my next two books in Magnolia Parks and then in the last bookcase nothing's really changed here these are all of my fantasy standalone books uh, and then on the bottom here I have my fairy loots separately just because I just think they're I don't know they're pretty and special and then I have all of my cozy fantasy over here and then over here I ended up deciding to try out the flipping of the spines for my standalones and I actually really like the way it turned out it does help obviously to see like which books you've read and which ones you haven't already so we have romance here all three and like I said it combined some of my like spooky season romance books as well these ones once again are not in alphabetical order I need to organize them we've got um, mainly Stephen King and Jennifer McMahon in books and then the rest of my horror books here with my bookmarks 
here we just have some extra series. I just didn't have an extra like spot for it on the big shelf, but um, just like miscellaneous series here, which I love the way that this looks. So really happy with that. And then we have two rows of thrillers. And then I have my library books here, which I just, once again, I just don't love because I feel like to me, my brain sees these and thinks they're normal books that I don't have like a time crunch to read. So I'm trying to figure out another solution for the library books if I have them like in a different room in a basket or something. But for now, they're just down here. Okay, you guys, that is a wrap on organizing my bookshelves for, it's actually the second time I've done it, but this will probably be like a quarterly video I film because I honestly just like have so much fun doing it. It's also a really good time for me to go through books that I maybe want to get rid of. Like I said, I have a pretty decent sized stack that um, I just have either had like since we've moved twice now um or that i've read didn't necessarily love and i want to give it to someone that may love it and i usually keep the stack by the door because we have a bunch of free little libraries around us and honestly the selection is pretty good so i will typically when i'm on the walk with the dogs go through the little libraries and look for books and then if i ever grab one i'll go back out on a walk after and put a book in the free little library so definitely helping me get out of my slump not only my reading slump because i feel like when you organize your bookshelves you kind of remember what you have and you maybe get like re-excited about some books and I mean when I was organizing I was like pulling some books out to put on like a little bit of a TBR to help me get out of a slump so really excited about that but also helped me get out of like a YouTube slump and yeah it was one of those things I was saying to Matt that like I just sometimes need to give myself a few days to just chill I mean my slumps are definitely related to my mental health like it's minus 20 here this weekend I don't want to leave the house I'm like all cozied up and I just need to sometimes like pull out the camera and just start like talking even if I don't even upload it anywhere and here we go we ended up filming a whole video so I'm really proud of myself for that. That is the bookshelf organization video I hope you guys enjoyed it. 